the Walker Honey Farm. And as you can see, they have honeys. They have all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, classic barbecue sauce with honey, of course. Pecan pie in a jar. This is, uh, they got the instructions on how to make a pecan pie out of that with honey. And then they got little jars in case you just want to eat it. But uh, they have wines, they have meads. And uh, here's, here's honeybees. You can see me in a reflection, but that's the honeybees doing their thing. Pretty cool. Here are our, our vats of honey. Local clover, local something, holly honey, chipotle, because of course this is Texas. And then you just bring your own bottle and fill it up and they charge you for what you've got. That saves them the bottling cost and all of that. And uh, so they can sell it cheaper. Yes, the store. This is the production facility for the um, honey and the wine, I guess. It's not open today. This is Sunday. It's not open. And I don't know if it is open to the public, but that's where they do the um, produce the honey and do all that. So we are, I'm getting, I should say, I'm getting ready to do the wine tasting. Um, and I, we were, I was able to choose my six and I chose all sweet ones. So they're, they all are mead. Um, some of them have just honey, um, which is what mead is. Some of them have honey and fruit and some of them have honey and spices. So I have one with blackberry one um, which is citrus tango, one which is called Bur burnt pile banche, one which is called just married. That's the one that the just married is a sparkling mead, which is just the honey. Uh, one which is called sparkling cranberry, and one which is called portamel. Not sure why I can't remember what that had in it. But anyway, cheers. <laughs> And this is the outdoor seating area that we're in now while we wait on them to bring us our crackers and cheese and salami to go along with her variety of wine meads or and that's the coming the the, the new planning of the next uh vineyard thing they're going to have okay so while linda is uh, drinking all of her wine we're also going to have uh, crackers and cheese and salami with little pickles and mustard and black olives and I have no idea what oh apricot jelly maybe. oh my goodness we have a fancy charcuterie a tray it's a charcuterie tray <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go we are we're in Rogers Texas did I say that Rogers Texas it's between uh, it's between Austin and Waco and then uh, so we'll be spending the night here <laughs> Okay, we're here at what is left of Fort Worth Stockyards. Uh, you can see all the individual pins here with the numbers on them and the pathways leading down to that building at the end of the ramp down here. Uh, that's the auction barn. Auctions are every Monday evening, so this is Tuesday, we missed it. But uh, the ranchers that are selling will be assigned a pin and come and put their animals in here. And then you walk this deck up here so you can walk from this deck all the way around and see every pen and every animal that's in it and, uh, and then go in and get ready for the auction. So here it is empty. The auction was last night. Welcome to Fort Worth.
Okay, we're here at the uh, stockyards in beautiful Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we're waiting. It's probably 10 after 11 now. At 11.30 is the cattle drive for the morning. It'll be coming from this direction and turning here. As you look right there, if you look over, you see that young lady in the green top? She is on a longhorn. That's a real live longhorn. They're paying to have their pictures made on it. And as you go on around this way, you're going to see the Professional Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame. And then back down to the other side of the uh, entrance to the stockyards here. That's us. We're waiting on the show. It'll be coming up. We'll see you then. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this honey farm was our fifth harvest host stay on this trip. And each one of them have just been um, amazing because you get to meet these people and they really care. These are not big businesses and they really care about what they're doing. And this is a way to get up close with them. So I'm glad that, that we were able to find this harvest host deal. And second of all, when Linda does these wine tastings, doesn't it look like she's taking communion for all seven of the dwarfs? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I'm just saying. Um, we also want to say Happy Easter to everybody um, and that we love everybody. We miss you all, and um, we really do appreciate all the comments. It's so much fun to read them. 
Everybody have a great Easter. Peace. We love you. Peace. Later.